Hi everyone, I'm Linda Loveland with this week's NC Farm Bureau report. Most JBS plants reopened this week after a cyber attack on the company's operations in the U.S. and Australia. The attack revealed weaknesses in the meat supply chain. The FBI is investigating. JBS processes 20% of U.S. beef. There are new benefits for farmers who plant cover crops under a new USDA program called the Pandemic Cover Crop Program. Producers who have crop insurance and planted a cover crop during this crop year now qualify for a $5 per acre premium benefit. The program will help farmers maintain cover crop systems through the challenges brought on by the pandemic. Deadline to file at local USDA service centers is June 15th. Grape farmers in western North Carolina are seeing the impacts from April's freeze. Growers up and down the Yadkin Valley sustained losses. At Laurel Gray Vineyards, owner Ben Myers pruned and fertilized to try and strengthen and protect his 10 and a half acres of French grapes. But the predicted low of 34 degrees ended up being 24 degrees and much was lost. At Laurel Gray, a loss of 30 tons of fruit. If we didn't turn it into wine, approximately we lost $70,000 of fruit in one night. If we'd have turned that into wine, it could have been worth a half a million dollars. This is the second year in a row they've been hit by a severe frost. Ben says farming is not for the faint of heart. Thanks to the rain, drought conditions have improved. The burn ban issued for 26 North Carolina counties has been lifted. Congratulations to two North Carolina farmer veterans. Taylor Bryan of Carolina Bees and Weeds and Jared Edens of Rooster Head Farms were awarded Farmer Veteran Fellowship Fund grants. Congratulations to them. And we're celebrating National Dairy Month. Milk is a nutrient powerhouse, you know. An eight ounce glass has eight grams of complete protein and 300 milligrams of calcium. Milk is also especially rich in vitamin B12 and potassium. And guess what? Even 2% milk is 98% fat free. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. We'll see you next week for another NC Farm Bureau report.